Well, here we are at the new summer cafe at the end of the lake in Udaholm. This house translates as the house fundamentally at the end of the lake. Lake's end. Let me take you up inside and show you what is a very beautiful family run cafe here in Udaholm. down to this new cafe at this beautiful mansion house at the end of the lake at Udham. What a stunning property and they kept the lawn partly cut to keep the flowers in the meadow in front. Nice little conker tree, tree I don't often see here in the area. But the house, I've got to say, is beautiful. Beautifully appointed, traditional Swedish house with the sweeping drive and of course the outhouses. This certainly is a most beautiful place. running around being happy of course it's summer how can you not be happy in Sweden here is this beautiful manor house the actual name of the house translates to the sea end or should I say the end of the lake it was built during the first part of the 18th century. Absolutely magnificent house. And I'm going to move my camera around slightly and show you this house, the view, which is stunning. of the lake and what a beautiful view to wake up to in the morning but actually what a beautiful view while you're drinking your teas and your coffees here at the new summer cafe in the garden a very beautiful place to be tranquil and on a summer's day look at the sky twenty seven degrees Fahrenheit and a stunning stunning view a stunning house and a beautiful cafe with homemade cakes and completely and utterly family run. Thank you. 
Lisa. And here are the homemade cakes. Cream. Of course, what would any cafe be in Sweden without a bula? All sorts of different cakes made in the house of the kitchen by the family themselves. Teas, coffees, and of course, their oldest daughter always has a smile, speaks perfect Swedish and perfect English. Do you speak any other language? No. <laughs> Swedish and English? Yes. But of course, wherever you are on the planet, you're welcome in this cafe. Let me take you around the garden. I'm going to walk you down and show you more of the view. The further away I get from the house, the better view of the house I will be able to show you. Some of the trees here are absolutely remarkable. You can usually tell the age of the house by the age of the trees within its garden. Cornflowers being grown under the ter cherry tree. The lawn is being cut but the daisies remain. wagtail in front on the lawn picking up insects for its young and I do like the way they've left the lawns for the wild flowers and grasses And here, beautiful bellflowers. Bees going from flower to flower. Radish, cornflowers, beetroot, and of course, plant after plant of beautiful red currants.
Kaylee cabbage. And raspberries after raspberries. Now as you see the setting of the house and on the right hand side, a garden full of people enjoying the summer cafe. These grand beautiful houses of course have a much larger guest house. I can hear many swifts and swallows in the sky above me. built from the waste of the manufacturing of cast iron and steel. I must say that this is a very beautiful, beautiful house. I'm being occupied by a very beautiful family and their children. Hogfush needs families. Hogfush needs new people. As I look into the kitchen on the end of this house, I see the most pretty lace in the window. I'll take you over to show you. Beautiful lace. The pram awaiting. And into the lawn at the back of the house. I do love the way that this lawn is cut as it retains the flowers. Hogforsh Commune is covered in flowers. And this time of the year, it's an absolute bloom. And there, beautiful house. Car park for guests. Let me take you to show you again the house at the rear in its entirety. Stunning. Sweeping drives through the property. And the logs neatly stacked, ready for the winter. Here, a beautiful traditional outhouse. Stunning traditional Swedish design. Well, that's almost the end of my guided tour of this cafe and manor house. But I do need to say, lastly, that if you have time, come here to this summer cafe. Come and sit in the garden, enjoy the view, enjoy what is being made for you and be so happy to be here 
in Hogfosh Commune on what is an absolutely beautiful day. But I do find, whether it's winter, spring, summer or autumn, Hogfosh Commune is a great place to be.